I was uh, I was exceptionally proud of our senior group today. Um, you know, for the first time ever, I started all of them as a group, and they really got us out of the gate on a strong start. And you know, it was exciting to see that happen, and especially for their last time in the arena um, in front of our fan base. And it's something I think I'll never forget. But I'm really proud of this group. You know, for everything that they've accomplished, I think the thing that I'm just so excited about is it's not over yet. And you know, I'm. I know that our staff and our team is going to do everything we can to make sure they play as long as possible, because they're a very special group. Uh, what they've already accomplished is amazing, but I hope that we soon talk about even better, and uh, we're going to go down and chase chase our dreams this week and see what happens. But I just I'm very very proud of them. They did what they needed to do on senior night to make it memorable. You've never started all your seniors. Well, not this five. Right. Not this five. I've started seniors before, but not this five this year. Okay. And how, how cool was it that you guys were in a position with the score the way it was that you could bring out each one of them? Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure each one of them got the ovation that they deserved, and it's something they'll probably never forget. So, And for their parents to have one more chance to listen uh, to the ovation. You know, our, our kids are so appreciative of the fan base here. I mean, we've climbed to 20th in the country in attendance, and we're just so grateful. The home court advantage that they provided, we've only lost three conference games here in the past five years. That's pretty amazing. But a lot of that is the home court advantage that they give us. And, you know, our kids, it means a lot for them to play here. You know, when we go on the road, they miss them. That's why I hope as many as possible show up in Cleveland. Down the stretch, you guys are up by, by like 30 points, and you still have a lot of your main opponents in there. Was that just because you wanted to give them another run on the court, or were you afraid that the game could, you know, a lot of the fans were murmuring, I hope someone, someone doesn't get hurt. Well, you know, normally you'd see me get people out, but I'll be honest, you look out there at kids that have paid the price, that have done what they've done, and you think about subbing them out, and then you keep thinking this could be their last time playing here. And so tonight was the first time, probably all year, that I've not taken them out quickly and, and gotten ready for something. but And it's a long stretch before we play again. So why not give them some minutes? I wasn't trying to run up the score. It was no. more so, and I understand what you're saying, but it more so was I wanted them to enjoy and savor every second. How excited were you when Riley finally got that? <laughs> you know, I think she just needed to feel some pressure because I finally had her sub sit at the bench. Uh, scorer's table waiting to come in, and she hit it and went crazy. I think she knew I better hit it now. Uh, but I was very proud of her because, you know, she wanted more than anything to hit another three in this arena in front of this crowd, and it was awesome to see her accomplish that and to see the enthusiasm that followed. Watching uh, Nama's family come here and, and see her play her final game, and what, what is your relationship? How has it evolved over the last five years? And what was it like seeing everything happen with her tonight? Uh, it seems like yesterday that her father was sitting in my office explaining to me what kosher meant. Uh, and explaining to me all the different th holidays that we were going to make sure she observed if she was going to be a part of our program. And it's just hard to believe that was five years ago. I remember like it was yesterday. Um, but last night, you know, when I came to the men's game and uh, her parents had come in and they were sitting in the stands uh, watching and to sit with them, you know, I, I, I would say our relationship even evolved as our team went there and we had a chance to really get to know them even better, walking in their homes and uh, getting a chance to really experience Israel and, and know everything about Nama, but they're, they're some of the nicest people you'd ever meet. And uh, for them to trust us with her for five years, I mean, I'm eternally grateful for them uh, giving up their time with their daughter, and I know they're looking forward to having her back home. Looking forward, all the other girls are saying how excited they are, and they wish they could just skip to the tournament. How prepared and excited are you guys? We're extremely excited. I think the toughest thing is not knowing who you're going to play. Uh, for a while and so the biggest thing is just preparing for what we know and trying to make sure that maybe we add some new offenses and some new looks so that we surprise attack some people once we get there but you know this is our favorite time of year and our players they can't wait you know they were bugging me about getting over there early just so they could watch games uh, they're basketball junkies and uh, you know especially our kids that are from over that direction you know Riley grew up there she can't wait to get back over and see some people that she grew up with so you know it's it's special, but I'll, I'll be honest. I there's not going to be a practice second that goes by that I don't appreciate with this group. They've been so much fun to coach, and uh, I hope it lasts a lot longer.
given that uncertainty with the opponent in the tournament, he feels though this group of seniors is a, in a right, the right position to keep everybody focused given, you know, maybe a uh, season you didn't, the way the season ended last year, to kind of keep the team on focus just given you don't know who you're going to play. Yeah, I think having a veteran group has paid off in so many situations this year. You know, and, and I'm, I'm so glad that we played in the four tournaments that we did because we're used to having to play back-to-back -back days to quick preparation for the other teams. But we also earned the advantage of having some rest. And so we should come in there with fresh legs. You know, hopefully some of the shooting modes that you've seen us suffer through will be over because I'll be able to give them some time off to get their legs back and hopefully find their shooting stroke again. Uh, some of our kids are fine. Others probably need to rest. So, you know, we're looking forward to it. I think our staff will have plenty of time to get ready for the two, the two possible opponents. And, you know, our staff's done a great job. Of, I probably haven't sung their praises enough, but my staff has done a phenomenal job with scattering reports this year. You know, to only lose two games, they've done a fantastic job. Uh, they have our team prepared, and I, I couldn't be, you know, I, I'm lucky. I have a very, very talented staff. Between 15-game um, winning streak, ranked in the nation, all eyes are going to be on you guys. Is that a good thing, that tournament? Having five seniors, they're used to this pressure. You know, we, we've been one of the favorite teams before, and we've stumbled, and I think that, that makes you hungrier. Uh, having been there, sometimes you have to go there and experience that pain to come back and when the going gets tough in the tournament, know that that's the time where you've got to fight through. And uh, I know the veteran leadership we have is going to do everything in their power to see it through. The number two seed in the tournament, the team just played at Ball State, they're only playing a few girls. Uh, Preseason expectations were not very high. Are you impressed by what he's been able to do with this program? Brady has done a fantastic job. He and I were talking before the game. He was my vote for Coach of the Year. I mean, he just did a phenomenal job. I mean, to only have the number of players that he had. He finished one game this year with four players on the court. Uh, he's done a fantastic job with limited numbers. You know, and it's hard to sub and to stay out of foul trouble and to keep your team healthy. And, uh, you know, I knew when he came in the league he'd do a great job. He did a great job at Eastern Illinois. And he's very familiar with this league because he worked for Bob Lindsay at Kent State for many years. But he's a great coach, and uh, I know that that rest is going to pay off for his team too. So we're going to have to be ready. But I'm glad that you know we've got deeper numbers than that to have to play the two games than what they do. Um, but we've got to win the first game before we'll ever see them. Anything else? Thank you.